Serious what is the most disturbing thing to ever happen to you? I was taking a walk in my neighborhood at 5am to see the sun rise and there were continuous screams coming from the alleyway a block ahead of me. It sounded like a little girl begging someone to stop and she was crying. Immediately ran back inside. Turns out there were two pedophiles raping a small child and her brother it gets a boy but it happens alright and she was screaming them to stop. The police arrived after I phoned them and the little girl and boy were bruised and bleeding, the boy unconscious. Worst of all, they were only three years old. My mum backhanded me across the face several times for the crime of staying at my next door neighbor's friend's birthday party for 10 minutes longer than I was supposed to. I was having such fun I lost track of time. She picked me up all smiling and happy then waited till we were out of sight of everyone at the vacant block between our houses and started striking me with the back of her hand as hard as she could. She dragged me home and started again. I at 42, still have scars on my face from the ring she was wearing at the time. I sat next to someone while they slit their wrists with a razor blade. Acted like it was nothing until they got curious why I wasn't paying attention, and then they got bored and gave me the blade. I asked you done then? And they didn't even say anything, just looked at me, held their arm out, and gave it one good tense and shake and made me watch the blood spurt all over the floor. Wrapped their arm and told them to knock their shit off. It was good for them to see someone not react that way but inside I was freaking out ha ha. My best friend was murdered 10 feet from me. Luckily I didn't see it happen, as we were running from gunfire at the time. I actually laughed as he fell because we I as it turns out had just jumped over some brush and I thought at the time he tripped over it. I didn't find out for another hour that he was hit by a stray bullet. To this day I don't know if I was just dumb, or my brain decided, nope didn't happen. He just tripped and that is what we're going with. Recently had a few incidents where I saw shadow people as I closed my eyes to go to sleep. I would see them loom over me and they were different every time. One was a man with extremely hollow eyes and a blank expression, the second was bald and had dark maw like tattoos and the third wore a brimmed hat and had dreadlocks. Not that scary when I describe it, but it is very hard to sleep when you see someone watching every time you close your eyes. I was severely bullied at college. I had a psychotic breakdown, followed by delusions and hallucinations that lasted a whole year. Then I had vaginismus. Then I was essayed by my stepfather. Then I was raped by my ex-boyfriend. Then my whole group of friends betrayed me. The results were compulsive eating disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder. Still dealing with those two. All that happened in the year of 2019. When I moved out to college and slept the first night. I had super intense sleep paralysis. I woke up pretty messed up for the first day of school. Then that following night I legit dreamt of seeing myself sleeping as if I was floating above myself. And it was super freaky. After that it went away so I don't know what's up probably anxiety toss up between the many seizures why does my head hurt and why the fuck are so many people staring down at me oh shit and the couple of weeks i spent stalking people on foot with a machete trying to figure out who and or what caused my best friend to die on railroad tracks note not hit by a train not a healthy headspace there some old bastard fired a warning shot through some trees whizzed right by my eyes everything would have just went out like a light switch i think about that quite a bit I was young and drinking when I shouldn't have so I never told the cops or my family about it. I think about it from time to time. Almost being kidnapped when I was 12. My ex's dad barging into his room coincidentally only when we were having sex because he needed my BF for something. It was obviously just to look at me, I was 14 16. A trans woman at work offering to help me clean my nipples in the bathroom. My mother tried to kill me on multiple occasions, but the worst was when I finally told someone she was abusing me. She stabbed me and beat me within an inch of my life. I couldn't return to school for a few weeks. But the most disturbing part? I was never removed from her care. Several decades ago my roommate brought home an unconsciously drunk girl from a club and attempted to rape her. I and a friend intervened and brought her back to the club before he could. Still scarred from that night and me and roommate just about never spoke again. My best friend 13 died while saving kids from drowning. I found out a week later days before cell phones during school Christmas holidays. First person I knew who died and nothing prepares you for the coldness of the body when you go to say goodbye. A few things come to mind, but the most significant is the first time that I actually was afraid of myself. To put in other words I looked at myself and thought oh man, that guy can't be me. It's better to stay away from that mindset. I was taking a walk at 3am and I heard a dude screaming for help, a noise like someone tipped over a trash can and then everything went silent. 
According to my calculations it happened no more than 10 meters away from where I was. Stabbed just above my lip by the first guy then hit with a golf club by the second, was in the wrong house party, not being able to sleep unless you are on your back sucks, and soup for 3 months gets old pretty quick. My sister screaming in my face while pushing me into the corner of the elevator and beating me. The way she turned around and acted like nothing had happened when the doors opened haunts me. It was so. Unnatural. Being almost murdered three separate times, two incidents with one person, and one incident with another, who was also my abusive parent. The parent situation was by far the scariest and closest call. A friend of mine male, 13 at that time was used as a sex toy by some older girls 16-17 at his school, and was made to strip and jerk off in front of them and girls in our class. I woke up in the middle of the night and saw a face outside my window, it happened a couple more times, always after a nightmare and always gone after I turn away. Found my dad dead in our basement. Rigor set in, the folks that dispatched me feel for a pulse and knock him over to see if he'd react. He'd been dead for hours. Locked myself in my bedroom for a few days while my housemate was violently getting drunk and doing hard drugs during lockdown. Twice. Sleep paralysis. After the first time it happened, I was terrified to talk about it because I thought people would think I was crazy. I lost my dad and my younger brother last year. Seeing my mom in so much grief. My whole world got shattered after this. Having a shotgun pointed in my face when I was 16 by a former boyfriend who claimed he was a gangster. Being gang raped by my first ever BF on my 17th B-day. Safe to say no B-days or relationships since then. I can pull my belly button out. It has as much feeling as my weenus. I bet he just pinched your elbow. When I was 15, it was either I go along or he would out me. So that day I was raped. My lover's sudden and unexpected death after we had been together for 42 years. Seeing my brother die in front of me right after he shot himself in the head. Having my older stepbrother and his friends run a train on me when I was 10. Having to go through my brother's fire ravaged department where he died. I was in a school shooting that resulted in multiple fatalities. Almost being killed by a dude I trusted. And everything after. A lot of abuse as a child. Forced to ingest my own waste.